Uh, May 15th, me and Sorority are gonna throw down. And where's that going down? Uh, Fairfax, Virginia. I feel, feel like I'm a, I'm a fan favorite, you know, I go to, go for broke, I always uh, swing for the fences, and uh, I always try to take people's head off, win or lose. What were your thoughts when you first got matched up with Cerrone? Uh, my, fir my first thoughts was like, perfect, this is an awesome fight, this is an exciting fight. It's a fight that I can get up and get motivated, for, uh, motivated every day, just waking up, knowing that you're going to fight a tough opponent, somebody's also going to bring it, just like you, yourself, so I'm uh, very excited, and uh, it's a good, good matchup. I think me and him are uh, two, two of the top strikers in the 155 pound division, and we're going to go to war. What were your thoughts on Cerrone's last fight against Nate Diaz, and have you studied that fight at all? Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I felt like, you know, Cerrone should have did a lot of level changing. He, he's, he's too much of a Muay Thai stand-up guy, he doesn't move his head. I felt like if you'd have went high and low and mixed it up with his kicks and, and uh, capitalized when he had knocked him down, I think he would have did great. I think uh, I think in that third round, he uh, he broke. I saw a little weaknesses, weakness in uh, Cerrone's heart, and uh, that wasn't good. You can tell in the third round, he didn't want it, you know, and uh, Nate Diaz was fingering him and all over him. I think he was in his head, and... He, uh, Phil, or, uh, Donald Cerrone definitely broke. Uh, you know, if I can make it a quick night, then that'll be the best of my favor. But a guy like Cerrone, you got to be expecting to go all three rounds, all three tough rounds. I'm, I'm in the best shape of my life right now. I can go three hard, vicious rounds, and that's what I plan to do. You know, Cerrone, I'm not taking anything away from the guy. He's a tough dude. He's a gangster. He's going to come forward. But I'm going to put the pressure on him, and I'm going to kick his ass. That's it. Are you expecting any trash talk? He did quite a little bit in the uh, in the Nate Diaz fight leading up to that. You know what, man? I, I don't I don't talk shit. I just make statements, and that's what I plan on doing. Jeremy, is there anybody anything you want to tell the MiddleEasy.com readers before I let you go? Uh, I just want to thank God. I want to thank my family back home. Everybody support me, and everybody out in San Diego, everybody here in Las Vegas who helped me train, and uh, just thank you very much, everybody. Tell them where they can follow you on Twitter. At LilHeathenMMA.com.